there, guys, and today is my brother's birthday. For my birthday, I got a Raspberry Pi 400. After unboxing and reviewing it, we'll compare it to my dad's first ever computer. Let's get started. This looks like it's not just a Raspberry Pi 400, but it's a full set, so I'm really excited. Let's unbox it now. First, we have the Raspberry Pi 400. Next, oh wow, we have the SD card, the official power supply. Exciting. The mouse. Under here, we have oh, an HDMI cable and a user beginner's guide. At first we thought we got scammed because there is no SD card inside here, but then we found in the back of the Raspberry Pi it's already been put in for us here. If I can just take that out. We're not gonna forget my old Raspberry Pi, which I had when I was my little sister's age. I've been using it since then until now, and it's really slow now, so. It's all connected up, and now we're gonna set up my Raspberry Pi. Hello, do you like your new Raspberry Pi? I love it. He's playing with my little sister who's upstairs on her Raspberry Pi in Minecraft. Oh, I just wanted to mention, if you want to know how to set up your Raspberry Pi, we've got another video showing you guys how to do that. So if you're interested, then go check that video out now. We've had this Raspberry Pi 400 for about two weeks now. Let's check what he's doing. Hello there. Hi. What's your opinions on your new Raspberry Pi? It's quite nice, yeah. It's a lot faster than my sister's old Pi, and especially a lot faster than this old guy. Also, I thought it would be a lot harder to do electronics projects. But you can see I've got some programmable lights here, code is here, and they're just plugged in at the back here to my Raspberry Pi. A lot more accessible than I thought they'd be. But if I wanted to do some smaller project, like pumpkin ice for example, I'd have a hard time fitting all this inside the pumpkin. This reminds me of something. Oh God. <laughs> This is my dad's first ever computer that he got when he was about our age or younger. It is the ZX Spectrum. These two are both very similar in the fact that they've got a full computer inside of a keyboard. Both of them you can connect to the power and to the monitor. You do realise you can't connect a mouse to this. Oh. This is kind of similar to the header on the Raspberry Pi. This bit isn't really meant for playing around. This is for extensions. You'd normally put manufactured things, such as a joystick or a controller in there. My dad said that he also has a light pen for this, so we could draw on the screen. That sounds cool. Wikipedia says this ZX Spectrum was released in 1982. Which means it's over 30 years older than me. The Raspberry Pi 400 has 4 gigabytes of RAM, whereas the ZX Spectrum only has 48 kilobytes of RAM. To put that into perspective, the Raspberry Pi 400 has more than 83,000 times more RAM than the ZX Spectrum. <laughs> At the time the 48K ZX Spectrum was released, it would have cost approximately £175, which today is worth approximately £500. Whereas a Raspberry Pi 400 just for the computer costs approximately £70. And for the 4K, which is what I got, costs about £90. So it's a lot cheaper. Overall, I really love my Raspberry Pi 400. It's really fast and I use it all the time. I also love its nice slick appearance. We really hope you liked our video. If you did, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Have a good day. Bye. Bye.